What is going on everyone and welcome back to some more sponge plugin programming. Today we are going to be writing the code that will create users an account when they join the game for the first time. So to get this done, we are going to want to open up our account manager class as well as our main sponge skills class. And let's start with our account manager class. Right near the bottom here below the setup account config file, we want to create ourselves a function that will be used to create the account for the user using their UUID, which will be passed in as an argument. So for this, let's call it create account and make it public. Public void, we don't want it to return anything, so we're going to set it to void. Create account, and it takes in a UUID, which will just be the UUID of the player. And with this, the UUID that we want to pass in is just the java.util.uuid. Now that we have the create account function kind of set up here, we don't have anything in it yet, we want to create another function that will be used to check to make sure that the player does not already have an account. Because we want to avoid creating an account for a user that already has an account, because that'll just end up overriding stuff. And that would not be very good. So for this, let's create another public function. And the return type for this will be boolean, true or false, has account, and just like above, we want it to take in a UUID of the player that we are checking to see if they have an account or not. Now, since this function is going to be used by the create account function above, let's just start with this one by checking if accounts config. This is just the configuration node here that we went about setting up in the setup account config function right there. And we want to grab a node from here, so git node. The node we want to get is the uuid .to string, And the reason we are converting this to a string instead of just leaving it as a UUID is because we want to store the UUID as a string in the account config. So since we're doing that, we also need to grab the node as a string as well. So with that, we want to get the value, so .get value. And we just want to check to make sure it does not equal null. If it doesn't equal null, we can return true to state that they already have an account. Otherwise, we just return false, stating that they do not have an account, and we should go about creating an account for them. Now that we have that handy function created, we can go about finishing up our create account function. Let's navigate up to that and add in the code. First, let's make use of our brand new has account function. So if exclamation point for does not has account. So if they do not have an account, we want to pass in that UUID of the player that we are wanting to create the account for. So if the user does not have an account, we want to create one for them. So accounts config dot get node. And again, we want to get the UUID dot to string node. And let's go about adding in a value here. Let's go and do mining level. And we're just going to set the value of this equal to a string value of one. So what this is going to do for us is if the player does not have an account, it'll create one for them with their UUID converted to a string, and it will give them a value titled mining level and set the value of mining level equal to one. This way, later on down the road, when we go about adding in level up or ways to level up and gain experience, we can change this value and retrieve this value whenever needed. Now, another thing, whenever we go about adding in nodes or updating or changing anything in a configuration file, we need to save it. So we do this by doing loader.save, and it takes in one argument, which is the configuration node that we want to save. In this case, accounts config. Now, another thing with this is since we are saving to a file, there is a chance that it will encounter an IO exception. So in order to alleviate that and catch that, we need to throw it into a try catch block. So try, we want to try to save the accounts configuration file. And we want to catch an IO exception. Now, if there is an IO exception, we don't want to just do nothing. We want to warn the server owner or whoever is in charge of checking the logs that there was an issue creating an account. So when they go about submitting a bug report to us or something along those lines, we'll know exactly where to check for the error. So we can do this by doing logger.warn. Oops. Error creating new account. 
just like that. So if this error does pop up, it will be displayed in the console stating that there was an error creating a new account. And then we can go about fixing it from there. So after that, we are done with our account manager class for today. Let's move on to our sponge skills class and actually go about listening for a player joining the server and creating them an account. So let's navigate right below our final listener that's here, in this case on server stop. At listener again, because we want to listen for something. And we will call this public void on player join. And the event we're listening for is a client connection event dot join. We'll call it event. And also let's alt enter to import that if you are using IntelliJ. Now what it's going to do for us is it's going to listen for a client connection event, in this case a join event, and it will run this function and whatever we have in here. In this case we want to first of all grab the UUID of the player that is currently joining the game. So we do UUID and we will call this, and import that, player UUID equals event dot get target entity dot get unique ID. It'll go ahead and grab us the UUID of the player joining the game. And with that, we can use our brand new function that we created in the account manager class to create them an account. So account manager dot create account. And then we pass in this player UUID. And then semicolon ended off. Now that is all that we need to do to create them an account. So save it, build it. And once that is done building, we can go ahead and start up a server to actually test this out. Now, once we join the game, what should happen is that client connection event right here will run and it will create us an account if we do not already have one. And in this case, we don't have one. So if we navigate over to our accounts configuration file, what we should see is the UUID as a string followed by the value mining level set to a string value of one. So it looks like everything is working out properly, and that will conclude this episode for today. Next time we will be going over event listeners that we will be able to use to check for when a player does something relating to their skill. In this case, with the mining skill, it'll check when they are mining something and reward experience accordingly, as well as later on down the road, giving them level ups. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.